I've been to every state. Do I have favorites that I want to talk about? Wow. Right now, Miami is directly behind us. Here in San Francisco, right here in Manhattan. Heading up to 49,000 feet. I like Alaska a lot. We're up over the Alaskan tundra to see the changing face of the largest state in the country and the Arctic as a whole. So we're in Salt Valley now, one of the areas that's really in need of restoration. There are places in the American West that defy yeah. how beautiful you think something can be. This seems like the National Park Service's best kept secret. And the openness has always been something that really appeals to me. Just before the eclipse happens, you're going to see that shadow on Grand Teton. And that'll be the moment when you know that totality is, is here. I watched the eclipse from Wyoming. Look at this. Here it comes. One of my favorite places on Earth. We hear some ooze. Ain't nobody wants to pull out a camera these days, but sometimes it's cool just to look at something. That said, I pulled out a phone. I grew up in Tonawanda, New York, which is just outside Buffalo. It's special because that's my home. And that's where the rest of my family is from. My dad is gentle, kind. Not sure I can ever remember him yelling at me or any of us. Uh, my mom is, you know, for her, it was always all about the kids. You know, she had three brothers and then three sons were inflicted upon her. So she is a saint because she's dealt with a lot of testosterone. <laughs> this is the CBS Evening News with Walter Cronkite. I grew up watching the CBS Evening News, among other things. I grew up reading the newspaper. My first job was delivering the paper. When I first went to his school, I wasn't settled on what I wanted to do, and my uncle and grandfather were dentists, so I checked the pre-dentistry box, and I took my first chemistry course and said, this is not for me. One of the big differences between a military tribunal and a The first couple of years for me as a broadcast journalist, it's like graduate school. You're filing thousands of stories and learning as you go, working and working and working and trying to get better. Do one thing that scares you every day. <laughs> With NASA, we went up in a, an F-18 to 49,000 feet. So we inverted, and then we went down, and then we came back up. What did we yep. To try to create a sonic boom that is quieter than the normal sonic boom. I did not throw up. <laughs> I got all kinds of training that, thank goodness, I never had to use. Longest an outsider has lasted inside the chamber is 45 minutes. So, we let him lock me in. Do people worry about the gators and the snakes? Now that the shark is on the lift, this is when the scientists do their work. The shark tagging story was the confluence of science and adventure, never mind the drama of how it all came to be. That was out of a movie. Nothing made me happier than having a baby. Has anything made you happier? No. Nothing? No. 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 One of the best parts of the interview process for me is searching as we go along. What does he have on? This is an EEG. People who are interesting and engaged are a blessing to talk to. We're looking at what seems to be one body there, but it's actually two brains. Yes. If you're standing on this corner 25 years ago and you see that kid pull that gun out, what do you say to him? It's not worth it. CBS's legacy means a whole lot to a whole lot of people, including me. We just had to leave the building because there was an aftershock. A big part of the story of journalism in this country is CBS News and what CBS News has done. This was the most complicated crime scene the Boston Police Department has ever started to process. The Iraqi government says British forces will still go ahead with a plan to hand over control of neighboring Basra province. Would you rather be making money or doing it the right way? I think we'd rather do both. The world changes every five minutes. 
I'm Jeff Glor in Aurora, Colorado. And behind me is the scene of another mass shooting. We are at the corner of Chambers and Broadway. That is daunting, but also appealing to try to cover that in most accurate, fairest way possible.